it's packing time. But why are we leaving Bangkok? There's really just one reason. One, two, three, oh. Aloha! We are Kencho Quest. We travel to open our minds and our hearts. Let's take friends around the world! There's actually a lot that we love about Bangkok, so let's start with those things. We love that there are lots of open spaces in the city. We can easily take our kids to a park or playground. We like to go to Benjikiti Park to either walk around the lake or they're also expanding it to be massive where they now have really long raised walkways. There's just a lot of good places to get outside to walk, run, or take your kids to play. We love the variety of food here, both Thai food and international options. There's so many things to choose from, whether we want to go out to eat at a restaurant, a food court, or just order in from Food Panda. There are a lot of international schools here in Bangkok. Our kids have been attending Montessori Sukhumvit 71. This was the first time for our three-year-old to go to school. While our eight-year-old, he's attended that school a few times over the years while we've been traveling or living in Bangkok. In the past, our son attended for a whole year straight, but it's also great when we're just visiting that we can enroll our kids for a month at a time. And of course, there's lots of other international school options here as well. The public transportation is awesome here in the city. We really don't have a need to rent a car while we're here. I like taking the BTS SkyTrain, and where we're staying, there's a shuttle to take us to the closest train station. And the BTS has really expanded since when we lived here before. There are a lot more stops now, and it branches out farther going out of Bangkok. So a great way to get around. We also take Grab Taxi a lot, especially if we want to get a large vehicle to fit our whole family of five or if it just a couple of us are out, we'll hail a taxi. The taxis are reasonably priced. If you have a large family like us, it might be even less expensive to take a taxi than the BTS, but if it's traffic time, you'll get to your destination faster on the train than being stuck in traffic in a taxi. There's also buses. Those can be super cheap. Sometimes George would take the bus on his way home from dropping the kids off at school. So it's easy to get anywhere we need to get in the city. We also walk places as well. There's also tons of shopping here in Bangkok. This is something I'm going to miss if we move back to the beach. There's so many malls. We like going to CM Paragon, to Central World. There's Emporium, M Quartier. There are a lot of malls. So if we need to get the kids new shoes, get some new clothes, get them some homeschooling supplies, if we need a new camera for filming our vlogs, there's pretty much everything we need we can get here in the city. So I'm going to miss that. The weather is also great this time of year in January, now that we've moved past the rainy season. So with all these things to love about Bangkok, why are we moving on? Well, it comes down to one reason, and that is air pollution. I just can't take it anymore. I'm already really sensitive to chemical smells and smoke, and I just don't like taking the kids out when the air is really polluted especially in the late afternoon, evening, when there's a lot of traffic, cars on the road, it can get really bad. If you stay inside an air-conditioned taxi, you might not notice it as much, but sometimes I will walk over to the Villa Market nearby and I can just feel the dirt coating my skin. We walk by a certain part that's kind of walled off with a metal wall and sometimes there's things like plastic burning behind there and I hate thinking that my kids are breathing in those fumes. Also at the apartment that we're at, there's a small little astroturf area where they can play around. They like to run around outside, but when they come back inside, their hands, and if they've gone barefoot, their feet are black with soot. And it just scares me knowing that there's probably lead in that soot. They're just being exposed to things that we'd rather be away from. The pollution had gotten so bad that I had to stop hanging our laundry outside to dry. So we have a washing machine and there's a drying rack and we could put that drying rack out on the lanai, but when I would bring it in, it would just reek from the pollution and the chemicals and I was bringing it inside our house and it didn't seem clean anymore. So I had to start hanging our laundry inside even though it doesn't dry as well. Right now in Thailand, it's what's known as the burning season. So a lot of the Northern areas in Thailand, they're burning things like old crops and it puts a lot of smoke up into the air. So instead of heading somewhere North like Chiang Mai, we'll be going back down South to a beach area. So if you'd like to see more of Thailand's beaches, be sure to subscribe. 
our family is traveling long term. Right now, we're here in Thailand.